Wow, Salim, I can see why there's so many people on this stand. You have brought so many machine tools to EMO 2023. What are you showing around here? We are so excited to be here uh, with over 20 machines. Uh, so we have a uh, turning on this side, we got milling on this side, and as you can see, everybody's wanting to see what's going on. They, uh, they want to see what Spinner is all about, the high efficiency, productivity of our machines, uh, and, and just how beautiful they really are. Absolutely. And so we're seeing a great turnout. It's showing the wide diversity of machinery that you guys produce. Um, but let's talk about the production of spinner machines. What are you proud about when producing a spinner machine? Well, you know, it really is the high precision, reliability, uh, combined with the ergonomics and the compact uh, uh, situation of every machine. Today in shop floors, uh, space is at a premium. Precision is at a premium. Automation is at a premium, and we can provide all that. So you need to make sure that that little asset right in the middle of your machine shop is being right. as productive as possible. Yes. Let's go have a look at some of those assets. There's 20 machines, we can't do them all. We're gonna go pick a few from milling, a few from turning. It's gonna be an interesting video. Keep watching. Wow, Salim, we're diving into super high productivity on the turning side here. This is the Spinner TTS. Now, we've done some videos on this. Check those out if you want. Yes. We've seen so many people around the machine. It's a hit, as you yeah. said very, very uh, truthfully. Yeah. Why is it a hit? Well, look, people love this machine, and I'll tell you, the crowds here, we had a hard time getting in here to get in front of this we had machine. To push a few we had to really way. push our way in. It's because this is a multitasking beast of a machine. Three turrets, very versatile, easy to work on and just very high precision in the cut. Absolutely, so. now sometimes you might see a machine, I mean, this is a tiny floor space to fit three turrets. Yes. I mean, a, a quick change on the front end with the bar feeder and then you can do some back working as yes. well. Um, but quite a lot of machines that this high productivity, they're not that easy to work on, are they? Yeah, generally you find a lot of complexities, but we get around that by adding simple, high technology features that will facilitate the work on, on the operator side and just come out with a great product no, no matter how complex, even if a high volume, that you're going to be able to do with these three turrets. Absolutely, and operator ergonomics, chip conveyor takes all the chips out, yes. and also this beautiful big interface as well. Yeah, no, the chip uh, management is, as we all know, very important. Uh, we got a 24 inch wide chip conveyor. You're going to get those chips out of there. You're not going to get any messes or any interruptions in the process. And then you combine that with this kind of versatile interface, touch screen, uh, we offer it with FANUC and Siemens control, so also even more sensitivity to the needs of the operators. Absolutely, not just productive, productive, but really nice to work on. Let's go check out another machine. Let's do it. Over here, looking at the TC600 machine behind us, you can't even see it because customers are talking about it all the time. They're so busy around here, I can't believe yes. it. It looks like a standard machine, or at least it would if we could see it. What's special about the TC600, Celine? Well, as you can see, extremely popular. We can barely get in there. <laughs> Uh, a standard, you know, one, one turn machine slanted bed, but the reality is that we got some capabilities that go above and beyond. So, um, of course, the turret is going to have 16 stations as opposed to 12, uh, all live tools. Um, we also have a tremendous amount of horsepower. So in the main spindle, you're going to have about 45 horsepower, and you're going to have the capability of bar feeding or chucking. So that's why here we're presenting with the robotic automation, the ability to chuck and automate this machine in that way. Absolutely, the horsepower and those features are obviously so interesting to so many people. Yes. What I find fascinating as well is not just the horsepower of the machine and the, the power of the machine, but the fact that you could fit lots of different styles of automation on the same machine. Yes, yes, so you get the horsepower, the versatility of the machine, the automation, and then the fan of control, yeah. which is great because a lot of uh, our customers really enjoy having that flexibility of using the fan control. Yeah, there are so many options that you can add on to what is a great machining foundation yes. for, for high productivity turning. Yeah, yeah, really, we call it uh, a turning center workhorse because that's what it does. It, it does the job, it does it well, and it keeps doing it. I love it, the turning center workhorse that not even MTD can get in and have a look because the customers are too busy. Now we're over here at the milling side of the spinner booth. Two U630 machines, the same base, but completely different styles of automation. Let's talk about the machine base first, Salim. What is it? Yeah, well, this is a spinner. It's still the same booth. We're on the milling side now, so we do it both, turning and milling. This is the U5630, an incredible five assets machine with a lot of versatility and the possibility to automate it, whether with a pallet changer or with a robot. So we have this one here with a hide and hide control, 
and just a number of features that it's going to give you a high precision, five axis machining every time. I'm amazed by the absolute sheer diversity of machinery that Spinner can manufacture from high productivity turning to high productivity milling. This machine was made for automation though. I mean, just from the, the number of tools you can fit in the machine. Yeah, and, and that's, that's a feature of our machines. The ergonomics, the visibility, you see the big windows, but made for automation. You can come in from the side and automate it without taking so much floor space. Yeah. So that's going to help a lot. Absolutely. It seems like your customers are not limited in anything, especially even the control that they offer. We've looked at uh, a Siemens control, a Fanon control, and a Hyden Hyde control. It's like yes. you planned this out perfectly. Yes, we're, we're still a family-owned company, and because of our uh, uh, structure as a, as a firm, as a company, we can still listen to our customers. And that's what they want. This I is what they ask from us. Brilliant, let's go check out the last machine in the milling section. And last but not least here, Celine, this almost looks like a, a normal VMC. Can Spinner even make these kind of standard machines? Almost like a normal one, right? <laughs> but then you see it and you see how special it is. Yeah. It's a, a three axis machine with the technology that we know how to do, but perfecting the simplicity of the three axis, right? Uh, simple, not easy. Yeah, right? absolutely. High visibility, great chip management, and for this size of machine, it's still very complex. And the beautiful Siemens control right yes. here, other, other controls are available. Yes. At, at first glance, it looks like a standard VMC, but then you look, oh my God, you can see everything inside the machine. You've got four chip conveyors. Yes. Uh, again, the Siemens control, and I assume there's some very special technology inside the spindle as well, but we can't, we don't have enough time to talk about that. There's too much on the spinner stand to cover. Yes. This uh, machine has a very special big brother, or is it, it's probably a twin brother here, but. A twin it's brother <laughs> with more, more capabilities, I guess. So here then we have the same machine. Same base. 50, five axis. So if you were to look inside, you can see how that bed just gives you a tremendous amount of versatility. Yeah, so you've got kind of a standard base, uh, standard T-slot bed here, but with a C-axis integrated. There's exactly. another machine you do similar to that, which we, we have done a video on. Yes. Um, but this is like a bigger version of that with a, with a four axis head as well. Exactly. And this is such a versatile machine. Yes. Why do customers want a machine like this? Well, they got these big parts that also require a lot of precision. And to get there, to get into the detail in, in the micro machining within the big part, you need this. You need good chip management. You need a knowledgeable operator that can understand a hide and hide control. But at the same time, you're going to get a first class product. And I'm amazed at the size of the casting you managed to fit on the five axis side yes. as well. Yes. It's, yeah, uh, you can get a pretty big piece in there. And, it still reached that precision. Yeah, it's an absolute beast of a machine. Yeah. And this has been um, a fascinating walk around the spinner stand. Um, I'm actually amazed at how many machines you have here. We weren't able to cover any, like a 10% a, a of the machine. Over I mean, 20 machines, yeah. and they're all different. So this has just yes. been an absolute taster of the spinner machinery. Yes. Uh, if you were to round off for people who've never heard of spinner, spinner before, why should they consider you as a machine tool provider? High precision, German engineering, family owned company, with machines that are going to be available for every need in your machine shop. Perfect. Just a taste of spinning machines. Watch out the MTD CNC channel for loads more machine reviews. They'll be coming soon.